And did we say we were going to try and meet them at our lodgings or outside of the archive? We were very unspecific about <laughs> where we were going to meet. But they also followed about a half an hour after, so we'll say for the purposes of ease, eventually stumbling around, you managed to cross paths again. <laughs> Plus, they have sending in their disposal, so yeah. it wouldn't be too hard. Eventually, you guys do meet up once more. We have a new um, uh, single bar of mithril. And we have information on a dragon. You do. Gilladon. He is fucking far. Oh. Is a hundred year old dragon an old dragon, or is it kind of a new dragon? What do you guys think? I would know oh, that like based dragon. on reading. Uh, well, what you read said that he hadn't been seen in a hundred years. Yeah, he's way older, probably. I mean, maybe. He's at least 101. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get any information on how long this myth has been around? Uh, the, myth, the myth has been around for Go Maybe away. close to two to two hundred and fifty <laughs> years. Two hundred fifty years. Oh, almost. Where's that electric? Curse is spiritual weapon. This is the show. No. <laughs> it's just going from cup wait, to wait, cup. Wait, wait, wait! You have to clap cup. above it. You have to clap above it. I learned it from Steve Carell. Okay. Clap okay. above it. Yeah, clap yeah, above right, it. It's gonna go. Boom! Oh, 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 so oh, so oh, so what do you mean, clap Come above it? Clap above where it goes. Get it, baby. Again, again! Let the brain circuses commence! We just end the game there tonight, guys. I don't know if get any better than that. <laughs> that dragon eats shit. <laughs> After an obnoxiously long period of time of being harried by some sort of subterranean insect, Ford snatches it from the air just as the rest of the party catches up and delivers its in. lost my powers years ago! <laughs> Incredible! Oh, man. Your other senses are heightening. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody say you need an elf that doesn't hate you? Yes. Somebody that's powerfully Possibly, magical? Yes. Oh, no. Never mind then. What were you going to say? I just know a nice elf. Who is that? She works for the Glass Blades, and we could visit her and ask. Oh, the Glass, the glass Blades? Yeah, the, the, the Glass They might have access to something. Yeah. Yeah. You said elf. Yeah, yeah, we could. Mm -hmm. Why do we need elves? Well, they tend to Be there in that. have access to maybe intricate magics, especially teleportation spells. Yeah. Uh, we are basically sorta. totally being biased on the former stereotypes that we've known. That's valid. Yeah. Okay. We could use your magical paint um, and make a hot air balloon. That's a lot of paint. Mm, that is a lot of paint, but I I think I might have enough for it. <laughs> Would use most of your Would paint, but it's possible. All of the paint. And then we could get shot down pretty easy. Also, Plus, do you have any experience piloting a hot air balloon? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Never seen or heard of one. <laughs> <laughs> I was <just> wondering. <laughs> Throwing a bunch of words to you. Hey, not. Did you just invent the hot air balloon? Cannon. <laughs> it just seems like hot air trapped in a in a in a, some sort of a container would rise up uh, and be be able to. It's just thermodynamics. I don't know what. The, I mean, like hot air, hot wants air to rise. Does it? Dunamancy, and then there's thermodynamics. <laughs> Somewhere Percy is having a nosebleed. I know. <laughs>